Two deadly serpents, one epic showdown, the King Cobra and the Indian Cobra, iconic, feared, and misunderstood. But what makes them different? Let's break it down. Scientific classification. King Cobra belongs to the Ophiophagus genus, meaning snake eater. Interestingly, it's not a true cobra. Indian Cobra, part of the Naja genus, the true cobras we recognize by their iconic hood markings. Size and physical characteristics. King Cobra, the longest venomous snake in the world, reaching up to 19 feet and weighing about 10 to 15 pounds. Indian Cobra, much smaller, typically 4 to 7 feet, though some grow up to 10 feet in rare cases. They weigh about 2 and a half to 6 pounds. Hood markings. The King Cobra has no spectacle-shaped markings, just chevron patterns along its neck. The Indian Cobra is instantly recognizable by the distinct spectacle-shaped markings on its hood. Venom strength and lethality. King Cobra injects up to 1,000 milligrams of venom per bite, but its venom is less potent with an LD50 of 1.28 milligrams per kilogram. Still deadly, it attacks the nervous system, causing respiratory failure. Indian Cobra, deadlier to humans, injects 170 to 250 milligrams of venom with an LD50 of 0.56 milligrams per kilogram, almost twice as potent as the King Cobra's, responsible for around 15,000 deaths annually fangs and bite mechanism. King Cobra has half-inch fangs, longer than the Indian Cobra's. It bites and holds on to prey, injecting massive doses of venom. Indian Cobra fangs are three-tenths of an inch long. It bites and chews to ensure venom delivery. Habitat and distribution. King Cobra, found across the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia, prefers forests, grasslands, and swamps. Indian Cobra, Found mainly in the Indian subcontinent, often near agricultural fields, villages, and urban settlements, increasing human encounters. Behavior and Aggression King Cobra Surprisingly, it's generally non-aggressive towards humans. It avoids conflict and feeds mostly on other snakes, including other cobras. Indian Cobra, more defensive and territorial, quick to strike when provoked, feeds on small mammals, birds, and amphibians. Cultural significance, the King Cobra is respected for its size and power but, you know, it doesn't hold much religious significance. On the other hand, the Indian Cobra is deeply rooted in Indian culture and mythology. It is often associated with Lord Shiva, who's depicted with a cobra around his neck. Who would win in a fight? In a head-to-head -head battle, the King Cobra has the upper hand, size advantage, almost three times longer, venom quantity, injects a lot more venom per bite. Predatory instinct, naturally preys on other snakes. Longer fangs, ensures deeper venom delivery. The Indian Cobra's venom may be more potent, but against the King Cobra's strength and size it wouldn't stand much of a chance. Which Cobra is more dangerous to humans? King Cobra rarely interacts with humans. Fatalities are uncommon. Indian Cobra far more dangerous. Frequent encounters with humans, potent venom, and responsible for thousands of deaths every year. Conclusion. The King Cobra is the longest venomous snake, feared for its size and ability to hunt other snakes. The Indian Cobra is smaller but deadlier to humans, thanks to its potent venom and close proximity to human settlements. Both are fascinating creatures, powerful, mysterious, and deserving of respect. So, who do you think is the deadliest serpent, the King Cobra or the Indian Cobra? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more wildlife showdowns.